Hello, good morning. Welcome back to school. Welcome to ICP. My name is Terry Pierce and I am your ICP teacher. So I just want to say hi. I want to get a video of myself to you. Um, certainly want to have you put a face with a name. So I think it's important to have a video. So I'm introducing the class and starting it all off with a video of myself. I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. Uh, Terry Pierce, this is my fifth year teaching. I came from industry, spent uh, 31 years in industry. I was 11 years as a bench chemist and then went into sales, selling chemicals to just about every company that makes something from, uh, uh, from half of the United States. I had from Denver to the East Coast and I had all of Canada. I traveled for 18 years, so I was able to transition at the age of 40, make some preparations financially. At the age of 50, I was able to um, make a career change and, and come into teaching. So um, glad to be here. I'm here because I want to be here. And, you know, for me, um, I'm kind of semi-retired, so this is a very enjoyable job for me. Hopefully that shows. Um, live in Highland for over 30 years, I'm married, I have three kids, all of them come through the Highland High School program um, and the Highland School, uh, School Town of Highland's educational program. Uh, my son went in the Marines and is now working for the railroad. Uh, my daughter graduated magna cum laude from Highland, 3.85 or better. She got a full scholarship to go to Purdue Lafayette. She just graduated and my daughter Lacey the last one is now a junior, so yeah, when she graduates and pushes through, I don't know. I don't know if I'll retire for good, but that's about me. Um, I want to go over a few things that in your Google Classroom, which if you're watching this, you have it. You have the classroom policy, and it's got this little funny picture of this guy on there, right? It's an electronic form that you have. You know, you're going to need a calculator. Uh, whether you're at home, whether you come in the when we come in the classroom, you're going to need a calculator. The problem with using your iPad and your phone in class is that when we get to a test, um, you can't use it. And when you get your phone out, I get uh, all antsy. I don't want phones. There is really no place in the classroom for a personal cell phone. Okay, so rather not see them at all, um, there is a policy on how we handle that. You get one warning. And then that reminds everyone in the classroom. And the second one you see, unfortunately, you get a referral. So, yeah, it's not even good to have a phone, right? You don't need it. Um, but you do need a calculator. Obviously, you need a notebook and a folder. I'm going to be giving you some things. I like to give out things like reference sheets. And I give you a sheet, and it has some formulas and helpful things on it. But what's really neat is you can write all over that sheet and come time for a quiz, you can pull that one sheet of paper out. And I do this because having come from industry for 31 years, you know, the days of really hardcore memorizing are not there anymore. It's really about efficiency. So um, being able to go to a resource sheet, I think, is very valuable from my experience. All right. Um, labs. Probably virtually in a, you know, e-learning situation in a virtual, I cannot really give labs out um, that I know of right now. So they're going to be kind of some virtual labs that you're going to do on um, FET, which is P-H-E-T. Uh, it's kind of a virtual, you move things around or make things virtually, uh, and projects. I might give you a project to use something in your house to create, you know, um, a molecule. And you can put together some sticks and some wadded up paper or some cotton balls or something. That'll count as a lab, okay? So lab's going to be a little different while we're doing this at home. We do a quiz after every topic. So you're going to expect a quiz. Tests, you only have four tests a year. That's a quarterly, first semester final, a quarterly, and a end of year final. Okay, so those are your tests. As far as grading, homework, which you'll have, you know, like the, you'll get a homework assignment at the end of this video. Uh, and there's one right now actually sitting there. It's, I'm getting a video to help you. I like to give help to students, but I do expect them to do it. Um, 
your homework is worth uh, 10 points, okay? Your labs or any projects that I ask you to do are worth 30 points, and your quizzes are worth 50 points. So quizzes are important at the end of the topic. Okay, so that's the grading scale. All that is in this piece of paper here that you have. And absences, uh, just make sure that it's your responsibility now to check in, I think, every morning and make sure that you check in for your attendance, okay? So make sure that you're doing that through the office Google website. Hopefully you have this. Uh, I haven't put it in, but I'm going to try to today. It's the block schedule. We're going to a block schedule, which means that classes, I believe, are going to be 90 minutes. And um, on one day, it'll be all of the odd classes, one, three, five, seven. And on the next day, it'll be the even classes, two, four, and six. So we're going to go to less classes, but stay there longer, and that's going to eliminate the passing period that goes on and try to contaminate, uh, I'm sorry, um, reduce the amount of interaction that we have in the hallways. So we're going to a block schedule, I believe, for the rest of the year. So that is the plan. So be ready for that when we come back to school. We're going to continue on this block schedule. I'll try to make sure I get this on Google Classroom for you. You don't have to really worry about that too much, except knowing which classes you're responsible for from an e-learning perspective. But it'll really mean something when we get back to class. And finally, the syllabus. I gave you a syllabus to let you know what we're covering. Integrated chemistry and physics had a couple of questions. What is ICP, Mr. Pierce? ICP is integrated chemistry and physics. So what does that mean? It means that um, the first half of the year, which would be from now until January, right, when we go on Christmas break, we're chemistry. So it's chemistry topics. When we return for the second semester, it's physics topics. Um, a lot of you probably know your friends are in, in biology. I don't want you to feel for a second that you're behind. I teach chemistry as well as ICP and the students that come to me their sophomore year for chemistry have not had chemistry since eighth grade. You're getting a nice overview of it for a half a year. Those students that come from ICP for me do well in chemistry. Um, you'll be a junior instead of a sophomore, but you're not behind for a second, okay? So don't think that the kids that got biology um, are having an advantage in the science arena, at least not from my perspective. Glad to have you. I think it's an advantage to some aspects to have an ICP class and uh, to brush up on your, um, your chemistry for sure. And when you get into physics, I think when you take AP physics, you have already had some of that. So it's, uh, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. All right. Now to our assignment. There is an assignment sitting in Google Classroom. I'm making this video, right? You're seeing me. Um, you're seeing kind of the classroom. Let me show you a little bit of the classroom here. There's the classroom. We've got chairs in rows, kind of tight, 30 of them. And then we have a nice lab in the back. I have a nice laboratory in front, uh, a little bench. We all have water and, and um, we have access to natural gas, methane there for burning things and so forth. So we have a couple hoods. So you get a little chance to see we're room 606, so we're all the way back there by the middle school. I think if you were an orchestra or something, you came down through there. Um, we're kind of by the swimming pool locker room over there. So it is a quite a long walk to go from the science department, foreign language department, to the math department and so forth. So understand that when it comes time for passing period and so forth. So maybe you get an understanding of what the class looks like. Let's get to this assignment here. I think I digressed a little. Got made a video of myself. Um, I want you to make a video of you, right? So I don't want black. I want to see your face. I want you to talk into the iPad or whatever your electronic camera you have. Okay. I want you to tell me something about yourself. That's number one. There's five things you're going to talk about. Try to talk about each one for a couple minutes. Tell me about yourself. For example, um, my name is Terry Pierce, but if it was Terrence, 
I'd want to be called Terry. So I'd say, my name is Terrence Pierce, but I'd like to be called Terry, right? I made an example in here. My name is Samuel, but I want to be called Manny. So let me know what your nicknames are and so forth. Um, maybe you can tell me a little bit about your household, how many brothers and sisters you have and where you fit in and all that. You know, how long have you, you just moved into Highland maybe? Um, talk a little bit about your pets and certainly a little bit about your hobbies, any sporting things that you like to do. And maybe you can let me know which elementary school you went to and uh, more than likely let me know if you came through the middle school here at, at uh, Highland Middle School, please. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I'd like to know what your passions are. What do I really like doing? You know, um, example, I really like to fish. And why do I like to fish? Because when I go fishing, you know, I, I put my phone away and I disconnect from everything and I connect with nature and I'm an analytical kind of technical guy. So I, I use my analytical skills to think about watercolor and clarity and different uh, thermoclines and, and I put together a strategy. You know, I'm competitive, so I feel that competitive nature of trying to catch more fish and, and so forth. So, um, you know, something like that, okay? Uh, tell me what your passions are. Sewing, whatever, whatever it is and, and why it is and, and kind of how it makes you feel. That's number two. Number three, I want you to talk about some career choices that you see yourself at at 25. So this is, you know, later in life, maybe even through college or through trade school. Uh, where do you see yourself? What do you see yourself doing at age 25? And you can pick a few, and I'd like you to maybe explain on those. You know, I'm, I can see myself being a chef is what I have an ex example. Um, because I really enjoy cooking, I like serving other people, I like being creative, I like putting things together in different uh, fashions and different designs that no one else is doing. Okay, that's number three. Number four, I want to know how you feel about science. Are you coming in here with um, kind of an idea? And be honest with me, and this only goes to me. I will not share this with anyone, but I would like to know if um, you struggled with science or you have a belief that you're not good in math or you believe that you're excellent in science comes easy um, you know and but the, but the math part's not easy or the math part's easy in the sciences I did great in middle school except I could not do well in balancing something like that but I please the more I know and the more we know the better um, the better we can get started here and then last but not least number five I want an honest response to how you feel about e-learning. You have nine weeks behind your belt. We did this in the spring. And how did that work for you? Um, and just be honest with me and how it went. And uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty emotional topic. So, um, you know, keep it, keep it at that level of just how was the experience and, and you know, I'm asking for one positive attribute of it. If you could if you try to find something positive from it and then something negative from it. And I'd like to hear that if you don't mind. All together, wrap that up. Send it to me. Attach the video to the, um, the Google Classroom assignment there. Ten points. Okay, gets us started. There's more to come. We're going to get right into the curriculum here a little bit because my experiences goes a little bit slower. E-learning goes a little bit slower. Um, my experience is you, teachers help. <laughs> so you need videos like this, and you need me up on the board, and you need me working through problems and things like that. So I'm making a lot of videos, um, and they're not all just face videos like this. A lot of them, you're just, I got a video, you're hearing my voice, and I'm on a screen. But, um, you know, we've, we, we've got to push. Science for me is a grind. It's like anything else. It's like working out. It's like you just gotta you 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 gotta just go after it, and you gotta work hard. And, and I set the expectation that when you come in this classroom, I lead the way with the effort. You know, no one, no student will ever outwork me on a daily basis. That's my goal. I want to be the hardest working person every class period, beating all the students. Um, I love that. I it, it, that's that's my that's my um, God, that's my style. 
okay, as I work hard. So I do expect you when you come in here to work hard, and if we work hard during class, we have just a little bit of homework, a little bit of brush up stuff, okay? Um, it's not flipped at all, where you do all your homework at home and you come in and you review it. This, I don't do a flipped classroom. Um, obviously now we have to, but when you come back in, it's not flipped. It's all, um, it's all you know, step one, step two, it's all progression, it's all done, and then you know, it goes very fast, and I know you get confused at the end, and then I, I give you some time at the end of class to put it all together, and you do it. You know, you're watching me do it, you're answering questions, you're doing it with me, but then you're doing it all on your own. Um, and that's a neat little, that's my approach on how to, to get um, a lot of experience into you quickly, and, it, and it, it's nice. I think it's worked well for me. They have had good responses. Um, majority of my students really enjoy the class. So that's it. I'm going to cut myself off. Welcome to class. Um, can't wait to see you. Please send me a video. I look forward to seeing those. And then look for another assignment coming up soon. See ya.